Arena by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. It is an ancient marina, and he stoppeth one of three. By their long beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stoppest thou me? The bridegroom's door are opened wide, and I am next of kin. The guests are met, the feast is set, mayest hear the merry din. He holds his skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth he. Hold off, and hand me, greybeard loon. At soon his hand dropped he. He holds him with his glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still, and listens like a three years child. The mariner hath his will. The wedding guest sat on a stone. He cannot choose but hear, and thus spake on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. The ship was cheered, the harbour cleared, merrily did we drop, below the kirk, below the hill, below the lighthouse top. The sun came up upon the left, out of the sea came he, and he shone bright, and on the right went down into the sea. Higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon, the wedding guest here beat his breast, for he heard the loud bassoon. The bride had paced into the hall, red as a rose is she, nodding their heads before her goes, the merry minstrel see. The wedding guest, he beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear, and thus take on that ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm blast came, and he was tyrannous and strong. He struck with his o'er-taking wings, and chased the south along. With sloping masts and dipping prow, as who pursued with yell and blow, still treads the shadow of his foe, and forward bends his head. The ship drove fast, loud roared the blast, the southward heavy fled. And now there came both mist and snow, and it grew wondrous cold, and ice mast high came floating by, as green as emeralds. And through the drifts, the snowy cliffs did send a dismal sheen. No shapes of men, no breeze we can. The ice was all between. The ice was here, the ice was there. The ice was all around. It cracked and growled and roared and howled. Like noises, like noises in a swound. At length did cross an albatross. As if it had been a Christian soul. We hailed it in God's name. It ate the food it ne'er had eat, and round and round it flew. The ice did split with a thunder fit. The hellsmen steered us through, and a good south wind sprung up behind. The albatross did follow, and every day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. In mist or cloud or mast or shroud, it burst for vespers nine, while all the night through fog smoke white glimmered the white moonshine. God save the ancient mariner from the fiends that plague thee thus. Why lookest thou with my crossbow? I shot the albatross. The sun now rose upon the right. Out of the sea came he, still hid in mist, and on the left went down into the sea. And the good south wind still blew behind, but no sweet bird did follow, nor, day, nor any day for food or play came to the mariner's hollow. And I had done an hellish thing, and it would work him woe, for all avert I'd kill the bird that made the breeze to blow. Ah, wretch, said they, the bird to slay that made the breeze to blow. Nor dim nor red like God's own head, the glorious sun uprist, then all avert I'd kill the bird that brought the fog and mist. Twas right, they said, such birds to slay that bring the fog and mist. The fair breeze flew. The white foam flew, the furrow followed tree. Who were the first that ever burst into that silent sea? Down dropped the breeze, the sails dropped down. Twas sad as sad could be, and we did speak only to break the silence of the sea. All in a hot and copper sky, the bloody sun at noon, right up above the mast it sand, no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we stuck no breath, no motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boats did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. Very deep did draw to Christ, that ever this should be, 
Yes, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About, about, in reel and rout, the death fires danced at night. The water, like a witch's oils, burnt green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue, through utter drought, was withered at the root. We could not speak more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well a day, what evil looks had I from old and young. Instead of cross, the albatross around my neck was hung by S. T. Coleridge.